everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. The other day I did a mask tutorial and I used elastic to go around the ears. And now there is no elastic to be had in the entire world. And so we're two ties, we're doing ties. And so I wanted to do another tutorial on how to make a mask with ties. And I think this is the easiest one yet. This is even easier. So let me show you how to do this. And let me give you a few measurements first. We have a top layer of fabric and it is six by nine. We have an inner layer of fabric and I have used flannel and it is also six by nine. And then you're gonna need two strips. Now I have used a, a two and a half inch strip, the whole strip for um, the one for the top and one for the bottom because you wanna make sure that these will go around and will actually tie around he the heads of the people you give them to. And, Everybody is a different size, so we want to do that. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to put our two pieces of fabric right sides together, and we're just going to sew the sides. So I'm going to sew these a quarter of an inch just on the side like this. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to sew right down the side and flip this around and sew right down the side. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to turn this right side out right now. And at this moment, turning it, our mask is done. And so I'm going to press this right here. And I actually like to kind of roll this back and just press this back so it lays back like this. So I don't have to fight with the seam when I'm trying to roll it. So then we're going to lay it down right here. Make sure it's nice and flat and press. And I'm just going to press these sides and give them some steam so they lay nice and flat. All right. So now for our strips, most of us quilters, we do a lot of binding and we keep one of these baskets of binding strips because we're always going to do an awesome project with our leftover binding strips. And I thought what a perfect use for these to use for our binding strips. And so you're just gonna pull them out. Now, if they're not long enough, you can just stitch them together, but I have a lot of binding strips, so mine are long enough, and I have two strips right here. Now, most of us have binding that we have, uh, well, it's ironed in half. So when you bind around a quilt, you just take a two and a half inch strip like this, and you iron it in half, and we sew it down. The half is crucial on here because it gives us a measurement point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two and a half inch strip. Now, you know, if you have, um, you know, gadgets that make bias tape and things like that, that's great. This is for people who've got nothing but they're stripping an iron. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold this into that fold in the middle and we're going to iron all one side just like this. Now, obviously, this strip is going to be way too short. I'm just doing it to show you. All right. So then I'm going to flip my strip over and I'm going to iron the other part right to the center as well. And I'm just folding that over with my hands. So now I'm just going to press this uh, nice and then I'm going to fold it in half again and press it one more time. So now it's folded right in half. Just like that. Now I have two strips that, are, that I've done that to right here. And these are going to be about 40 inches. And that's a nice length. Um, you can buy those on a roll and they're great. And see how I've just, I've just folded these into the middle and then folded them in half. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle of this and I'm gonna put a pin right here. And I'm gonna find the middle of this. And I fold it in half and just put my finger there in the middle and I put a pin in there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strip and I am going to match up my two middles. So I have to take my pin out and I'm just gonna lay this in here. So I'm gonna put the edge of my mask up to the fold and lay this over. And I'm just gonna stick a pin in here so that it goes. So then we're gonna come all the way out here to the end of our strip that is all um, ironed down and we're just gonna sew it. So I'm going to put my presser foot right along the edge, back stitch, and then I'm just gonna sew. And we're just enclosing that fold like this. Now, just before you get to your mask, you're gonna tuck this back in. 
And we're gonna make sure that these two pieces are still matching and lining up. And now I'm gonna take my pin out and I'm gonna sew across like this. And down the other side. Just keep my strip lined up. And then I'm gonna add the one on the other side and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna, this is my middle right here. And I'm just gonna lay this in here and I'm gonna stick a pin so it doesn't wiggle out. And then I'm gonna start down here on this end all the way at the end and just sew. So as it starts getting close to my mask, I'm gonna tuck that mask in there. Take my pin out. Make sure this is still folded over and even. You wanna catch, be able to catch both sides. And down the other side. So our straps are on. All that's left to do is to add the pleats. So I'm gonna come down about, I don't know, about this far, and I'm just gonna make a little pleat right here. And I'm gonna make it on both sides, and I'm gonna stick a pin in either side. So I've got a pin here, and I've got a pin down here. And then this one the same. So I'm gonna come up here and kind of give it a little pinch and add a little pleat here and basically you're just folding it over and making a little pleat and I like to do both of my sides at the same time so they make sure they're going the same directions and then we're just going to come here to the side and we're going to sew straight down this side right here and I am going to start right on the edge of my strip and I'm going to come across and I'm going to kind of back stitch over that little pleat and so I'll come down here and back stitch again and then I'm gonna flip this around and do the other side. Now I have pinned far enough in that I'm not sewing over my pins. And I'm just on the edge here, back stitching and back stitching. All right, and your mask is done just like that. So let me show you how this is gonna work. Now you'll notice I didn't even use matching strips. It's nice to coordinate, but it's okay if you don't. Um, a couple of options on this. Um, you wanna use a different fabric on the back than on the front so they know what side has been close to their face. Remember, this is not gonna keep you from getting the COVID virus, it's not, but it will help the spread of germs. So one of the big benefits of a face mask is that it keeps your hands with whatever you've touched with your hands from touching your face. And so that will help stop the spread of germs. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the quick and easy face mask from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.